So you heard that the dough is really good for PvP and you got it. But the thing is that you still suck. Well in that case this video is just for you because I will be showing you tips and tricks for better dough PvP, why is it good and how to make it even better. So if that's what you're looking for watch till the end. Today's shoutouts go to these guys. If you want a shoutout in the next video just leave a like and tell me in the comments do you have dough and if you do why do you love slash hate it. So first of all, why do we even use dough? Well dough is a mythical fruit that costs 2.8 million pelly if you manage to find it in stock, 1.4% of appearing in regular stock. So these stats immediately tells us that dough is really good, which isn't always the case but with the dough it is. So, there are two versions of dough V1 and V2 which means that it can be awakened. V1 is decent but V2 is the version where dough reaches its full potential. And when it comes to its awakening it's a bit complicated process since it's not like the other fruits. So if you want a detailed dough awakening guide tell me in the comments down below. Like every other fruit, dough has some pros and cons as well. So for example when it comes to combos this fruit is a beast. But, in order for you to do a successful combo you need really good aim. That's because dough doesn't forgive misses and it punishes you with really long cooldowns so you are pretty open to enemy attacks. But again if you manage to almost every hit you will easily one shot a big amount of enemies. So don't let that bother you because you will gain skill and aim by practice and with the time so there is no really significant thing you can do about it right now. Also another pro of this fruit is that it is long range and good agility so you can escape teamers and try hard bounty hunters. So yeah. Also I don't currently have dough so I won't be showcasing it because I am pretty sure you know every move. So why am I giving tips and tricks for it when I don't have it? Well I did some research and I know the tips because I watched other videos about this topic so I made my own tips and tricks that put all of them into one. I am sure we can agree that items are very important if you want to have a decent PvP experience. So what should you use with dough? Well let's start with races. You can use variety of different races but here are the ones that I think are the best. Human, use this if you want better combos and higher damage, best one in my opinion. Angel, for higher defense and health, defensive playstyle. Shark, for aggressive bounty hunters, balanced. So that's that. For fighting styles I have two recommendations. Electric Claw, higher stun and better combos but harder to use, advanced players. And Got Human, harder to get but more balanced and easier to use. So choose what fits you and your current situation the best. And accessories. Pilot helmet, for more agility and overall speed. Swan glasses, improved overall stats, best one in my opinion, balanced. And lastly pale scarf, for aggressive play style. And that's it for items. But where are the guns? Well guns don't have that high impact on your overall performance, it has if you use the worst gun. What gun will you use sometimes depends on what combos are you learning but sticking with something like Acidum Rifle or Soul Guitar will get you just fine. What if you want to use a sword? Well that won't be really possible because you want to put your all stat points in melee, defense and fruit. But if you want to use a sword for its stun then go with something like DTK, Soul Cane or Shisui. All of them are good and they are going to offer you combo extensions so you can one shot more enemies. But the thing is, just using dough in these items won't make you often unstoppable. You will gain skill when you PvP, and what's more skill based than combos. So if you want to improve your skill learn some combos as fast as possible. Since there are a ton of combos I can't show them all in one video so if you want me to make a video about them leave a comment down below. During this video I suppose that you already have dough. But what if you don't? Well then if you want to get it you have to look for some quick and easy ways to get it. If you have money the easiest one in my opinion is waiting for stock and rolling fruit stealer cousin at the same time. There are live stock at the wiki or you can find them on YouTube. Or, like I said you can hop into the game yourself and if it isn't in the stock go and roll a fruit at the dealer cousin. It's pretty easy since you just need to hop onto the game every 4 hours and you will get a lot of other fruits as well. It may or may not be a fast method, depending on your luck, but again this is only for players who have a lot of pelly. Of course you can get it with trading as well. But I don't recommend it. Why? Well there are not a lot of people who want to trade their dough, since it's really valuable fruit. And even if they want to trade it they want some game passes for which you could bought the perm dough in the first place. So yeah last way is to not stress about anything and just buy it with robux, only if you're rich. Guys if you found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and a subscribe to let me know that I should make more helpful content. Thanks for watching and see you soon.